well he finally did it well honestly i i wouldn't say he did it because i stated in this video that it's a prologue to the things blair aka illuminati pyramid head miss talks about her shit has done and oh boy we had an hour video of this man going to full death while kind of breaking the fourth wall letting the court and blair know that he is aware that they will be using this video in court so he publicly discussed and talks about his lawsuit blair had filed against him and if you have been followed with the court documents i highly recommend youtuber mad catster who talks about the entire court case in full detail and that is honestly where i had got my reference from in my last couple of videos shout out to him all right i won't talk too much in this intro so i'll let oz explain shit that we already know subsequent parts will serve as a public record of exactly what is going on behind the scenes throughout these videos I will actively be showing all and any evidence related to dismantling her claims against me, as well as the other parties she's involved in this misplaced legal crusade of hers. Seeing as I know this video will be heavily scrutinized by Blair's legal team, hi, and perhaps even shown in front of a court, also hi, I am fully willing to submit this video and its subsequent parts to the courts as further evidence as I am willing to stand by these words as I'm treating this as though I'm speaking under oath. I am also not stating this to add an air of authority to my words as Blair's legal team has previously proposed. I want the truth known. And to do so, I'm going to publicly dissect her claims within this lawsuit to essentially lay bare my defense, as well as the defense for other parties involved. My section of the lawsuit will be covered in part two, as I'm awaiting litigation privileges before I explore my portion of the lawsuit for the assistance I received with the GoFundMe back in September. September, I would not have been able to mount a legal defense. Of the amount donated, GoFundMe takes a fee with each donation. This can be seen on screen here with this nice little chart breakdown they provide. At this point in time, which more information can be found as an update in the original GoFundMe, this lawsuit has cost over $40,000. I've been posting all of my legal invoices for full transparency, and more will be posted soon. The redacted information within them is information subject to attorney-client privilege, which also spells out my current legal strategy. This would be foolish to allow Blair's legal team access. This is why the redactions are as heavy as they are, as they include itemized lists of my lawyer's actions throughout the case's initial proceedings. Let's, let's literally pause for a minute. The fact that this man was not playing when he said he has receipts. My guy really pulled out the GoFundMe records and other info that he had to redact. He was not playing at all. Blair's lawsuit, in my opinion, relies on the misconstruing of facts and utilizes a personally curated timeline which she has constructed in order to gain the bare minimum standards of having this case proceed. Because I'm exhausted with the, in my opinion, legal shenanigans Blair is currently pulling, this video exists. We will be delving into that timeline and gutting it point by point as both her lawyers and judge seem to be fully unaware that I am not the real cause of her pain and misery. Blair is. Blair's actions are the reason we are here. And I'll be demonstrating that shortly with a detailed timeline of events before we move into the dissection of her claims. If you would like a full breakdown of every court filing to date, I would recommend YouTuber Matt Caster. For now, I'll be focusing on what's current and minimizing the hundred plus pages of legal proceedings down to only what's necessary over the next two parts. For the next proceedings, I'll be launching a new GoFundMe because I have nearly exhausted the prior amounts donated. All donations will be used to defend all parties in opposition to Blair, not just myself. All future legal invoices will be posted as they come, from all parties who are in need of the funding. My goal with these uploads, assuming Blair does not take my offer, is to not only lay my defense bare for all legal parties to see, but for the online community as a whole. I intend to provide ample documentation to justify to all of you why another round of crowdfunding is being posted. This isn't just for myself anymore. This is also to defend employees that Blair is bringing legal action against as well. If Blair does accept my offer within the outro, I will be refunding the new GoFundMe once all terms are met and the lawsuit is official. Honestly, for this part, it's not surprising that Blair is still in this delusional mindset thinking she played no part in this whole situation as i stated by my paraphrase gets upset when people like the click says something about her claims i do not understand why would she be mad about someone telling the truth about her claims but also what she did damn it this kind of reminds me of the people i dealt with in life i guess i'll have to figure that out later 
Blair, I just want you to realize you've caused pain. You've caused me pain. I don't care about the drama. I just want you to realize how much you've hurt me. I've been doing my best to hold everything in, for years now at this point. If you actually did read my thread, you would know what I want. Peace. I just want to be free. I just want to be able to breathe. I have read that you want peace. I thought we were doing better. I wish it could have been something we talked about on our own time instead of dogpiling. I'm left more confused than anything. Well, I assume you don't want to talk anymore. All I ever wanted was for you to realize you hurt me. Not just in the relationship, I do not care about that. You hurt me as a person to my very core. At some point, Blair, you need to see the pattern. Jin was later mysteriously removed in future amended versions of her legal complaint. 34. Regarding the false accusations listed above, Blair made one public post, attempting to debunk the misinformation. She has not publicly addressed the situation further in an attempt to de-escalate it. While I have my theories on why this was removed, the exact details are unknown. In her current complaint, there is currently no reference to her ever uploading this video or any of the public comments she's made, making it appear as though she never played in the mud, and her criticisms came from nowhere. Here's a quick search in the second meta complaint to demonstrate this. This document will be on full display in future chapters within part two. More on this, of course, when we reach the legal debunk sees her video as an attempt at de-escalation. If you recall, among the many other accusations she levies, Blair accused YouTuber The Click of harboring pedophiles in his Discord server. In what world this is a de-escalation? I cannot say. Now, of course, I do believe that Blair is entitled to speak publicly on her personal retelling of events. However, I personally find it to be brash, hypocritical, and even monstrous to then sue those who argue against said retelling of events. About 19 minutes in, Oz explains about the click and wonder situation and how he feels that Blair's discussing motives towards leaking wonders unalive note once again in front of millions, millions of people in the bitch still got the video up. Oh my fuck. I'm editing this part because I found it funny. Not Oz eating Blair up and calling her out for using a legal system to silence others speaking out against her abuse. The GoFundMe will be at his disposal for legal fees as well. This then leads to Blair's infamous posts made to her YouTube community tab and Twitter on May 26th, speaking on how she intends to clear the false allegations that have surfaced against her. Let's actually take a peek at this real quick. Hey everyone, I'm fully aware of the recent false allegations that have surfaced. I want to take a moment to publicly state that I am taking these allegations seriously and I'm committed to rectifying this situation promptly and appropriately. I understand the concerns and potential impact that these false allegations have caused. My team and I are actively working behind the scenes to gather all relevant facts. I am committed to transparency and accountability throughout this process. Rest assured that I am taking decisive action to address this situation. I will provide updates and communicate any necessary actions as soon as possible. Thank you to those of you who are standing by me during this challenging time. I will not allow these false allegations to be weaponized as a way to silence my voice. I appreciate your patience and understanding during this challenging time. I am dedicated to upholding my channel's values and delivering on our commitments. I am confident that the truth will prevail. Sincerely, Blair Zahn. I would like to note that Blair has been publicly silent on her platform for an entire year on this matter. Blair claimed that false allegations were being weaponized to silence her voice, but she has, in my opinion, been weaponizing the legal system to silence further criticism of her actions. I too, Blair, am confident the truth will prevail, which is why I'm actually breaking my silence, because I'm exhausted with playing the game your way. This would follow with the very next day, Blair sending out cease and desist to First Wonder, and then later myself, roughly one week later, June 5th. At this point, and up until September of 2023, I would have only made a single Twitter thread, as well as possibly five minutes of cameo time in Wonder's video discussing matters, which Blair had previously made public. And as has a point. How do you sit back here and tweet that you're going to handle these false accusations to a drama that you started but go silent basically what you're trying to say is that you blair had harassed people but want to press charges against people refuting your claims and false narratives god she reminds me of the friends i i once had that to you oz in the following week specifically june 14th 2023 at 903 a.m which i would also like to add that these were denied by the court which is why i had never heard of them until very recently 
two civil protection orders against myself as well as Wonder were filed by Blair. Blair cites general harassment that she had received as grounds for her civil protection against Wonder. Now, I would like to firmly state that if you've ever sent a threat of any kind to Blair, go fuck yourself. I don't want you in my audience or even remotely associated with me. You're selfish and only stroking your own ego while simultaneously hurting everyone involved. But with that being said, I do want to briefly talk about a few details in the CPO ordered against me, which, again, was denied, where Blair accuses me of beating her dog, Casper. I deeply cared for him, and I find this accusation thrown into a CPO for sympathy from the judge to be revolting. I also, in my personal opinion, believe that this is further evidence of Blair twisting and manipulating facts, or in some cases, just outright lying. How fucking dare you accuse me of beating Casper after everything I did for you and him, which, in your own video, Blair, you said it yourself, how much help I provided with Casper. There is more squabble listed within these denied CPOs that are just not worth entertaining at this moment, but if you do have more questions on these, I would like to refer you to Vangelina Skov, as she was able to cover these in full before their removal by the original leaker. Moving on from my personal emotions, the We are 30 minutes in and this woman is fucking insane, so now we're lying about eyes and views and dogs? Girl, what? the fuck is wrong with you and also admitting to felix the cat that she owned the alt account to harass the click that right there is a definition of a person who's afraid to take accountability the fear of accountability will make a person do delusional acts to get themselves to believe that they are right and the victims are wrong Ends of click using the r word these screenshots in question are what blair is suing for defamation as well as breach of contract what is not included within this lawsuit however is the screenshot evidence provided by felix of blair owning the alt account that was created to harass click as well as his cohorts in 2020 take this information as you will blair is willing to sue over a dm showing her paying one of her at the time discord moderators 200 dollars to dig up dirt on a prior collaborator but blair is not suing about the disclosure of information about owning an alt account to harass other youtubers Take that as you will. Okay, so it looks like we had Blair harassing, threatening, witness intimidation, and I don't know if gang intimidation or third-party harassment is a charge. I don't know. I don't know. Something about paying somebody $200 to do your dirty work is fucking insane. I'm not surprised that she isn't that desperate and docs people do their delusions. <laughs> Uses it in private. 121. This statement carries a defamatory meaning because it implies that Blair is both a hypocrite and a bigot. Her words, not mine. 122. Defendant Felix published this statement with negligent disregard for its truthfulness because he concedes that he has no proof to substantiate his claim. In 2020, Blair had revealed to me that she had used a service to scrub her Twitter of all and any inappropriate or cancelable language that she may have tweeted. Evidence of this can actually be found by the fact that there's a massive removal of tweets on a single day shown by her social blade. I, I had to purchase a social blade premium subscription to get this data down to the day as shown. However, black eyed peas. Blair can be seen in this tweet using the exact word in question that she condemns and damns others for using. Only three years prior to her stating that word was never in my vocabulary. The ending to Oz's videos where we sat watching this, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I did shed a couple tears because this, what he states, hits the needle in the hay on why this woman is really fucking evil. The majority of my 20s, possibly the next two years, stuck in legal litigation in opposition to Blair. I just want to be able to live my life. The stress from the lawsuit, the foreclosure, it feels nearly never ending and I'm tired of waking up in the middle of the night stressed with chest pain and dread. I'm tired of dreading every email notification. The legal system is exhausting. But while the legal and foreclosure stress have been very present and constant in my life, even with the foreclosure ending in December, it's not the only reason I'm considering this potential settlement agreement. In my personal life, there is an ongoing source of both grief and stress and factors that I'm still trying to process and have been unable to process because of everything going on around me. With keeping details sparse out of respect for my partner and with their approval, 
We've had to deal with the heartbreak of a miscarriage throughout all of this. Its occurrence was unexpected, and because of the day-to-day stress of the lawsuit, we've been unable to process, heal, and move forward from this loss. We've had to shelve these emotions and push forward, and it's been hard on both of us. And I just want the opportunity to heal with my partner in peace. And while I... Which is why I'm even considering giving Blair the settlement. I ask that you respect my privacy of myself and my partner until such a time that we are comfortable making details known. I'm not doing this for Blair. I'm doing this for my partner and I's future. If Blair doesn't accept the following offer, let alone negotiate, so be it. I have no problem with continuing forward. I have no problem with continuing to pursue this until the end, as I do not fear the outcome of the case, especially after the judge's recent orders. More on that if slash when part two is released. My settlement to you, Blair, would allow you to follow the morals that your channel has advocated for, or in your words, be dedicated to upholding your channel's values and delivering on your commitments, or as this handy video you uploaded a week before you sent out cease and desist states. When something as horrible as this happens, people always come out and admit fault and tell the horrifying truth of their continued negligence and malpractice, right? Yeah, you're right, that never happens. What am I thinking? Instead, they usually do their best to hide everything and blame anyone but themselves, and wouldn't you know it, that's exactly what happened here too. My settlement offer is for you to drop the lawsuit, for all parties involved, even wonder, with prejudice. I won't file counterclaims and would no longer be required to upload the second part to this video. And what do you get? A chance to prove your side of the story, or even take accountability for your actions. If you proceed with this lawsuit, by the time that it's done, especially with what's left of the judge's order, there would be no platform for you to return to, as you still need to answer for not just me, but for everyone else you've harmed in this platform. All I can say about this is that my prayers go to Oz and his partner. I can't imagine the pain and suffering that they are going through along with the others that Blair involved in this childish game because once again, fear of accountability. I'm gonna go on a Moesha moment. If you don't understand this reference, you haven't grew up. So cue the music. Dear Darby, why is it so hard for people to take accountability for their actions? It's not like a little backlash is going to hurt. But after a while of convincing yourself that you're innocent and going on a smear campaign, the backlash is getting worse and worse and you have nobody to blame but yourself. Now you're lonely, have no friends, let alone a huge support system except the small minded people that refuse to hop off your dick and see the truth. <laughs> Watch this video. Unfortunately, we encounter these types of people in life because they're still in that high school mindset due to them not peeking there. And honestly, those types of people that will continuously try to say that you're a liar or will do everything it takes to ruin your reputation, those right there are your biggest fans and your biggest supporters. Because at the end of the day, your biggest haters want to see you win. And you may not know that your biggest hater is subscribed to your YouTube channel. Okay, outro time. I have no words. <laughs> I really have no words towards the situation. Like, Blair, you're fucking disgusting. And even though that I be having my commentary on Blair and how I be saying things and how I feel towards her, please don't go out here and harass her or send threatening messages, docs, and all that, because you're no better than Blair. You're no better than anybody else that actually done that. Like, yes. Call her out. Call her out for being a bigot. Call her for being a hypocrite. But don't threaten people. You're no better than what they did. So yeah, other than that, guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications of this channel. Please support the Oz GoFundMe. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't got a chance to see it on his description, I'm gonna put it on here as well because I'm showing my support for YouTubers worldwide. Other than that, guys, just your girl money two times. Signing off.